Hello. So this is how it looks like after you load, but uh, this is already implemented. So these are the little arrows and they show um, with the intensity and what you can do is you can click on them and then it shows you this is a row column so I could for example here this would be row one and column zero one two three four five right it says zero five and direction zero this would be the direction one direction two direction three and you see it's uh, currently uniformly distributed so all the probabilities have this all the positions have the same probability this one and uh, this is just some kind of uh, log which dumps all the probabilities here just for debugging purpose if you would like and here are the characteristics this is p1 this is p2 this is p3 and this is p4 you can always restart it and uh, you can use the motion model or measurement model or nothing right so if you would just use the motion model uh, given this uh, difficult situation uh, maybe we can just first uh, start with one and one. Then uh, let's turn to the right. This will do nothing, just rotate all the cells. And then we would go forward. Then uh, we cannot be here, right? Because uh, it always makes step. So it could not get here because it would have to be here and it's not possible. So if I click here, you see zero. If I click here, it's a little bit more than in the beginning. So I make another step. And, and, and if I go down here, right, and step, you see already it's getting green. It's 10% uh, already that I'm here because I can also be here, also be here, also be here. So there are 10 of these, and all of these have the 10%, and everybody else has uh, nothing, right? Here, no. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't because uh, it's not in that position below one two three three times forward and then right so i can be here because i might have started here one two three and and i can be also here because i could have started here one two three and right so i could be here I could be here i could be here i could also be here because maybe i didn't start here but i started here and i can be also here because i started here and turn so only those positions that are possible have 10% probability. But now if I go left and step, this can only happen here because there is only one position where you can do like this. And you see, 100%. And now we found ourselves and we can just stroll around and be happy because we always know where we are. But this is not the case with the reality because in reality uh, it's not like this sometimes you tell the robot to go forward but it slips and turns a little bit of course this is a simplified version where you only have 90 percent turns but in reality it slips five per five degrees or something like that but you can still use these methods there but not uh, in discrete case like this but this is just to explain the principle all right, so let's restart and set these values to something different, like 94% and 96%. And start over, and now it will sometimes make a mistake. And so far, no mistake. But it is taking into account this uncertainty, so it knows that even though there was no mistake, so I'm very likely here is 22%. I don't think you will find another place with such a high probability. So if you would really take a maximum, then it would be this one. Uh, yeah, let's e to the times 10 to the power of minus seven. Okay, not five, five, five hundred percent. No times 10 to the power of minus so a very low probability. All right, so yes, uh, this is the highest probability, but sometimes it will now make an awful mistake, as you will see soon. It's improving, improving. It also believes here because maybe the step didn't work out. Sometimes it make a mistake. Maybe I need to make a uh, hundred clicks to get it. Sometimes it wants to make it more often than uh, like five times in a row. It makes a mistake, but 
you see that it's losing it uh, as it as it finds itself in the corner and now now it didn't make a step and so it thinks i'm here with 60 percent and i'm here with 23 percent because it happens so few times that it's much more likely that it didn't make an error and it continue here so it it cannot do anything else, just believe, because it doesn't know anything, it just tries to guess. So the best guess is here, but it's 60%, but there's still a high chance, 23% that they're here, and some other location with some lower percentage leaves. But what happens here, if I go forward, now these guys will wait for me here, because if I tell them go forward, they have nowhere to go, so they have to make a step, and I get them all. <laughs> no, doesn't matter. Right, but now it didn't make a step again, and it, no, all guys are lost. They go in front of me, and it didn't make a step again. I'm not a crazy robot. Oh, three times in a row. You see that this probability is so funny. Now I catch them all. Okay, so you get an idea. And this is only the motion model with some not very big level of uncertainty. Let's include the measurement model. After each step, it will also detect the location around, so to the front and to the left and to the right. And it will use these three Bayesian formulas to update where it is. Step. Well, restart, okay? Restart, I'm here. So let's make our favorite route. See how popular this location is because it looks the same. It was in the corner, going through the corridor. So actually here we have a 39%. Here we have the same 39% because the observations were the same. Observations were the same and the situation is the same. And there is no other place like that to go maybe yeah and to see in front you have to see this all three sensors should report nothing right there is not so many situations after one two three steps forward like this after two steps after three steps only here and here okay go forward and suddenly 86 percent okay here nine percent here left Step, all right, 99%, oh, bad, I haven't seen that before, <laughs> okay, step, 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 but you see it made a mistake, it didn't turn, it didn't turn, so most guys believe that it's here, some guys still believe even 27% of guys remain here because the measurement helped him, she it strongly believed it turned, but it also strongly believes those sensors, even though not so much because 10 person mistake here, 10 person mistake here. So still only 27%, but 72. But now I turn right and suddenly it, the situation changed because we made a new measurement and the new measurement increased this probability, right? Some guys turned here 2% only. And some guys still are here because 24% still remains here. Interesting. Let's go forward. And now we take all of them because the measurement just kicks it. 97, 96%. Okay, that's about it. This is how it works. Sorry, it was a little bit longer, but they like to play. <laughs> so now it's up to you. Try to do the same so that you get this nice performance using the formula. So your task is to write this update function so that the simulator works like this and tries to estimate the location. Thank you so much. Where is my...